this video is only for use of interview purposes for Microsoft. I'm going to talk about some of the troubleshooting issues, uh, present issues uh, while using Skype for business. Um, and uh, what I found is uh, I found uh, some key things here. Uh, basically, right off the uh, Microsoft page that they were talking about troubleshooting connections in Skype for Business. And uh, if you look at this icon here, this is basically your connection icon to let you know as an indicator to let you know where your connection is. And we all are familiar with this indicator here. And it just says here, depending on the severity of the problem, the icon can be gray, yellow, or red. And it will give you a brief indicator. I, I guess it would mean, you know, soft, medium, or, or hard indication of what needs to be troubleshooted. And they also have a breakdown here of some of the key things that you would have to troubleshoot bullet points here improve your signal, close other applications, and they mean close other applications while on the PC. Check your speed. Uh, one way you can check your speed is uh, you can check with your internet provider and um, have them do a test to make sure that you test your download and upload speed. Uh, updated hardware and um, check with other participants. I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about updated hardware and what I've noticed is that there's some hardware, in, meaning laptops out there, if you're using laptop, mine is solely only on laptop use just because that's just what I had used. And there are, when I mean updated hardware, there are like three good processing systems out there, computer processors, they have an i3, i5, and i7, meaning i7 being the best. Uh, so they have also 8 gig of RAM. They, they also have the 2 gig, the 4 gig, and the 8 gig, but 8 gig b being the most updated. And then they have the terabyte of hard drive, and they have 250 gig, 500 gig, but then they have the 1 terabyte. And um, so if you're going to have an updated one, meaning that it has to have one terabyte, um, I would solely recommend that you check with the POC on the other side and check to see if their computer is compatible to yours. Because if you're running a gig i3, i4, i5 processor and one terabyte and they're running lower than an i3, i5 or i7 processor and they're running maybe two the four gig of RAM and less than one terabyte saying 500 or less then that's definitely going to cause an issue or a lag or it, it, that means that one computer is working harder than the other and it's going to cause a slow up and delay. And they also had here where uh, it shows troubleshooting audio and video in Skype for Business. And they have some key things, troubleshooting Skype for Business video issues and the first one is other participants can't see my video and it has a breakdown here of how you recognize or what you should check 
when other participants can't see your video, you go to two, go to your video device settings, and it basically breaks down, give you a note if you have more than one webcam. All should appear in the drop down list. If the camera doesn't appear in the list, is your camera plugged in? Is your webcam installed correctly? Open the device manager. It briefly gives you a quick overview of how to open the device manager. It also talks about if the camera shows up in the list but doesn't show preview. And how you want to check that is another application using your web cam. That also goes back earlier when we were talking about closing all of the applications on your PC. Checking camera privacy settings. And here's it shows you where to go to check your privacy settings. And it talks about the video quality is poor and this is some of the bullet points here of the video quality being poor. Once again, check your connection, improve the lighting conditions in your room or your office or space where you're using Skype for business. Check your camera settings. Again, it tells you here how to check your camera settings or where you should go to check your camera settings and update your camera I'm not really gonna touch base on updating camera mostly if you're using a laptop that's up to date with uh, all the great processors and all the great RAM and hard drives most likely you'll have a good camera there to use uh, next point here I can't see video from other participants and just talks about here being when you're in Skype for business about the participants icon here and what to know it says if an audio only call is started all camera icons are shaded so basically what that means is check to make sure you're not just doing an audio call instead of video and audio together my video is moving around it shows here how to crop and center my video. Go to two video devices and it shows here how you crop and center my video in the meeting. Uh, to talk here about troubleshooting, Skype for business, audio issues, and it has two here. It says resolve mic issues. And other participants can't hear me it's talking check your settings in Skype for business these are the settings here check your microphone make sure that the correct device is selected then another one it says make a test call but I don't think this is available for Skype for business yet so I definitely don't know enough about that to uh, go into depth about that but also um, down here it says check your window settings and it's basically the icon here which is always at the bottom of your computer just of note to just be mindful if that doesn't have an X or slash across it make sure that um, you can definitely hear your, your mic here in, in, in the Windows uh, desktop bar. Other participants have difficulty hearing me. And it talks here, once again, it just reiterates, check your connection, make sure that correct device is selected. Check your audio device settings once again so it's just reiterating some of the same thing some of the key things that we talked about before and improve speech and noise ratio and this could be you know the background noise the noise inside of the room or the playback noise so you have to always be mindful of that 
Uh, another key thing is resolve speaker or microphone issues. I can't hear the other participant and it has a breakdown here of make sure the correct device is selected and it has a breakdown here uh, in the auto audio device section the settings and you have to make sure that these settings are operating correctly to make sure that you can hear your participant and then it says I can't hear the other participant very well so it's also giving you the check your playback device again uh, check incline volume control it tells you where you can check that it also shows you down here how to check that and once again it tells you to check your connection and improve the sound at the other end so it just walks you through all the different key points about the audio and video which will help you troubleshooting so once again we talked about the troubleshooting audio and video and Skype for business and we also then talked about just some troubleshooting connection issues in Skype for business once again this video was just for interview purposes and um thanks for listening